evening. Good evening. Hi, Hi teacher. Hi. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Hi, thank you. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Happy for you, yo. Excelente. Um, <laughs> let me just check. I hope you're safe and sound. Espero que todos se encuentren súper bien de salud, all right? And I hope you're ready to have your class. Y pues espero que ya estén listos para tener su clase. Does it have a view? Today we are going to finish section one, but also we are going to start section three, if we got the time, of course. Este día vamos a final con la, finalizar con la sección uno y vamos a iniciar la sección two. Vamos a iniciar la sección dos. Si nos queda bien el tiempo. All right, to make. So, el tema de la sección tres es, does it have a view? So, let's get started. We have beginner three, class number three. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. Yesterday's class, uh, we finished it with this part, all right? La clase de ayer terminó con esta parte. Lo hice yo, pero no los puse a practicar a ustedes because of the time. Por el tiempo. But today is your turn. Una vez más, voy a leerlo yo para luego darles la oportunidad de ustedes de hacerlo. ¿Ok? I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother, my mother, <laughs> my mother, my mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. All right, so let me have, voy a tener a Yvette, please, en la primera columna. Y Jorge Luis Castaneda, usted va a ser la segunda columna. Va a iniciar Yvette, luego sigue Jorge, luego Yvette, luego Jorge, and so on. Action. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does that. A lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus guys downtown. Excellent. Thank you. Let me have Jessica Hernandez. You are the first column. Usted es la primera columna. Ernesto, you are the second column. Usted sería la segunda columna, right? Action. Okay. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. They bus goes uh, down down. All right, repeat after me, Jessica. By bus. By bus. Y Ernesto repita después de mí. Downtown. Downtown. Excellent. Thank you, no. both of you. Muchas gracias a ambos. Let's go to the next one. Let me have Yolanda, you are the first column. Usted va a ser la primera columna. Sandra Guadalupe, you are the second column. La mismo, la, el mismo ritmo, please. Una usted, Yolanda, una Sandra. Action. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our own homework. Every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Excellent, thank you. Let me have a Felix Sanchez, please. You are the first column. Usted va a ser la primera columna. Oscar, usted va a ser la second column, la segunda columna. Uno y una, please, Felix. Okay. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. To bus goes downtown. Excellent. Thank you. All right. There you go, everyone. Los puse a practicar con esto porque son los three verbs that we are going to be using. 
son los tres verbos irregulares que vamos a estar utilizando, right? So, let's check the following. Yesterday, I show you this. El día de ayer les mostré esto. So, let me have Moises, please, tell me. The irregular birds. Me lee, por favor, los irregular birds. Uh, okay, the irregular birds are have, has, go, goes, do, does. Excellent, thank you. Listen up, teacher, ¿cómo se dice el signo de igual in English? We say equals, all right? Entonces aquí podemos decir. Equal. Uh -huh. Have equals has. Go equals goes. Do equals does, right? So there you are. Ahí tenemos, all right? These are the verbs, irregular verbs. Let's check the following. Tenemos una conversation. I'm so happy when we have conversations. Soy tan feliz cuando tenemos conversations porque me da la oportunidad de ver cómo vamos con la pronunciation. And it's true, we only had two days of classes, right? Es cierto, solo llevamos dos días de clase, but still can work. So let's check this. I'm going to make it bigger. Voy a hacerlo más grande. Simple present questions in conversation. I get up at noon. Right? Aquí vamos a ver las preguntas que se hacen en el simple present y let's check. Bueno, antes de ponérselos así, mejor les voy a mostrar el video porque así van a tener doble oportunidad de escuchar la pronunciation. Primero from, from the video, primero del video y luego my pronunciation. Okay. ¿Están viendo la plataforma ahorita? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 cool. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Okay, let me check. I think it's in this room. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to verbs. Let me just check. No, it's not this one. Changes, whatever. Okay, here we are. Let's pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Story, do you listen to the audio? Se escucha el audio? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, Listen up, I'm going to stop the video in here to explain you something. Quiero parar específicamente el video aquí para explicarles algo. Ayer, uno de ustedes me consultó, teacher, y el do y el does, ¿qué serían? All right. Lo expliqué ayer, serían auxiliaries, lo explica él, son auxiliaries. Y si ustedes se fijan en la parte de la translation del video, no les da traducción al auxiliar. All right. Porque no tiene una, mira aquí, dice, cuando se formulan preguntas en presente simple, do it does, all right? No lo traducen, because it doesn't have a translation, ya que no hay una traducción acertada, por así decirlo, right? Solamente se, los, se les explica a los estudiantes siempre que son los auxiliares que permiten hacer oraciones en negative y preguntas, all right? There you are. Let's continue. We and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. 
This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. Okay, we're going to stop the video in there. Vamos a pararlo ahí porque la parte gramatical, yo me voy a encargar de explicarla, right? Más que todo lo quería para que tuvieran otro como reinforcement, un refuerzo de la pronunciation. Ahora voy yo, ¿ok? ¿Por qué hago esto? Pues a veces no es suficiente solo con el que el docente haga la conversation. Aún después de que el docente hace la conversation, se escuchan que hay algunas palabras que no quedaron como bien expuestas, right? So with this, we have extra help. Con estos videos tenemos ayuda extra. So we have Jack and Amy. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. Aquí no se pronuncia sure. Aquí es sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All right. Sirven desayuno todo el día. Let's check. Do I have any participant? Tengo algún voluntario que quiera practicar la conversation una vez más conmigo? Yes. Okay, great. Mr. Ayon, let's get started. You are Jack, I'm Amy. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Ayon. Great. Now, let's check some words that might be difficult. Vamos a hacer un review en las palabras que podrían, hacer, que podrían ser difíciles, right? Afternoon. Afternoon. Sunday. No decimos Sunday. No, decimos Sunday. Sunday. Sleep. Sleep. Weekends. Si usted me dice week, está hablando de la semana. Si usted me dice weekends, estamos hablando del fin de semana. Weekends. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Early. That's early. Esa S de that's suena. That's early. Noon. No decimos noon. Decimos noon. I get up at noon. Breakfast. Breakfast. Sure. Sure. Let's meet. Let's meet. Serve. Serve. They serve breakfast. All right. Now, let me make the pairs. Vamos con las parejas. Let me have Felix Gonzalo. Usted va a ser Jack. Sandra Guadalupe. You are Amy. Action. Okay. Let's go to the park or Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late 
Yes. What time do you get up on Sunday? Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you do you eat breakfast day? Sure, I have breakfast every day. The next meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Great, excellent, very good fluency, y'all. Buena fluidez, good pronunciation, you were calm. Estaban tranquilos, pero también había esa fluidez que es necesaria, right? Para evitar ir, let's go to, va muy bien, excellent. Sentences for sentences, great. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Now, let's go to the next one. Vamos con Yolanda Flores, you are Amy. Francisco Martinez, you are Jack, action. Let's go to the party on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on. What time? What time do you get up on Sunday? I ten o'clock. Oh, what that every on Sunday? And get up on me. Do you do you hear breakfast? Them. Sure. We have breakfast every day. And let's at this restaurant. One o'clock. They celebrate. Excellent. Thank you, Yolanda and Francisco. Thank you so much. Good pronunciation and good fluency. A ver, y solo le voy a hacer una consulta. ¿Se me escucha a mí el audio cortado mm, o no? ¿Va todo bien? Todo bien. Todo bien, teacher. Todo ah, bien. Porque sí, a algunos de ustedes les escucho, por ejemplo, a Yolanda y a Francisco, ahorita los escuché como cortados. Pero yo tengo el cable de internet directo, entonces no, crea que, no creo que sea el internet. Right? So, let's go. So, Puede ser también la señal Francisco, right? So, don't worry. There you go. Let's go with Josué Granados. You are Jack. Andrea Solórzano. You are Amy. Action. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep like on weekend. What time do you get out on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 early. On Sunday, I get out at now. Do you eat breakfast then? So, I have breakfast every day. Then let me and this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent. Thank you, y'all. Very good. I appreciate your effort, all right? Excellent. Aprecio mucho el esfuerzo que hacen. That's great. Now, let's go with Vanessa and Scarlett. You are Amy, Omar Chacon, you are Jack. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get out at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the, this restaurant at one o'clock. 
they serve breakfast all day. Bravo, excellent, very good. Let's, you're welcome, sir. Let's check, Omar, repita después de mí. Time. Time, come time. Sí, time, exactly. Time. Y la otra sería time. breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Exactly, justo como breakfast. está ahí. Okay. Very good, thank you, sir. Let's go with Patricia Campos. You are Amy. Moises, you are Jack. Action. Okay. Listen, let's go to the part on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on waking. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat break, breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Trisha, are you there? Then. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Aquí no, no le escuchamos su parte, Patricia, que sería la última. Then, let's me. Es que, eh, perdón, es que no escuché a, a, a Moises. compañero. Creo que a mí. Ok, fallan. lo repito. Sí. Okay. Okay. Sure, I had breakfast favor. every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Thank you. Very good job. Very good rhythm. Very good pronunciation. Excellent. Let me go with the last pair. Voy con la última pareja ya, que sería Ernesto. You are um, Jack and Rebecca de Benavides. You are Amy. Action. Uh, let's go. They they park on Sunday. Okay, but le, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What thing do you uh, you Get have up. Up, uh -huh, on Sunday? At ten o'clock. Oh, they. And then on Sunday, I'll get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let me at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent, thank you. Very good. I appreciate your effort. Ernesto, repeat after me. What time? What time? Do you get up? Do you get up? It's very do good. Up. All right, everyone, there you go. Continuamos entonces. Notarán ustedes que a lo largo de la conversation se hicieron algunas questions, algunas preguntas, all right? So let's check, how can we formulate those questions? ¿Cómo podemos formular esas preguntas? Before going with the structures, antes de ir a la, con la estructura, eh, quiero mostrarles este recuadro, que es el que la, el, el profesor salía diciendo en el video. All right? Now. Let's check. Let me have, bueno, voy yo primero, después lo voy a poner a ustedes, right? Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they dry to work? Yes, they dry to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive? When do they drive to work? Every day. When do they drive to work? Every day. Now let me have. Voy a pedirle a 
check. Beatriz Hueso, please. Yo le pregunto, usted contesta, ¿ok? Ok. Bien. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they try to work? Yes, they try to work every day. Ahora usted me pregunta la segunda columna. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does ha, he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they try to work? Every day. All right. No sé si tuve un déjà vu ahorita, pero creo que en la primera de what time do you get up, le dije at one o'clock. All right. But it's okay. You got me. Excellent. Thank you, Beatriz. Now let's get you your... Moises, do you have a question? Or you want to participate? Uh, no, I have a question. Mm -hmm. For the question, say, what time do he have lunch? Aquí, ¿por qué después del he ponen el have y no el has? Debería ser el has. Mm -hmm. O porque es una pregunta. Aplica. My friend, ¿qué tiene aquí? Mire. Ah, el do. No, Pero, el perdón, es que no... Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ahí se me fue. Al dos. Ah. Que es una ah, no, right? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, eso se me había olvidado. Eso se me había olvidado. Sí. Porque naturalmente siempre va al caso. O sea, siempre lo asocio con eso. Ajá. Yes, Por yes. naturaleza. Ok, gracias. You're welcome, sir. Ya saben. Y está correcto que pregunte. Es muy bueno, right? Así también me dan a mí entender que están prestando atención y hay algo que falta cubrir todavía, right? Remember, if you have the auxiliaries, recuerden, si usted tiene la auxiliary, ya no va a hacer uso de el change in the verb, de cambiar el verbo, all right? O agregarle algo. Es más fácil hacer preguntas con los auxiliaries. Es más fácil hacer negatives, eh, negative statements, oraciones en negativo, all right? Because of that, por esa misma razón, porque ya cuentan con el auxiliary. No tienen que estar pensando si lo van a cambiar o no, all right? So let's check. Let me have Jennifer Marisol. You ask. Usted pregunta. Escoja one victim, please. Escoja su compañero para que le conteste. <laughs> Ernesto Portillo. Excellent. Very good. La primera columna es señorita. Let me check. What was your name? Jennifer, la primera columna, usted pregunta y Ernesto contesta. La okay. segunda columna, Ernesto, usted pregunta, Jennifer contesta. Action. Okay. Do you get up early? No, I get up food late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he, he has lunch at one o'clock. Uh, do they drive to work? Yes. They drink to work every day. One, uh, one time, do you... Uh, Gra. Aha, gra. At 10 o'clock. One time, do he have lunch? At one o'clock. One, do they drink to work? Every day. Very good, excellent, thank you. That was great. Let me have Moises. Moises, escoja su pair, please. Escoja su pareja para que participe con usted. Eh, ok, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Vamos a ver. Rebeca Enríquez dice. All right, excellent. Moises, la primera columna, you ask. Usted pregunta, Rebeca contesta. Okay. The second column, seguimos la misma estrategia de sus compañeros anteriores. Action. Okay, Sandra, uh, do you get do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? To, to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Okay. What time uh, do you get up? At yes. ten o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. 
Very good rhythm with the questions and answers. Great. Siempre que escuchen que yo les digo la palabra rhythm, significa el ritmo, right? El ritmo que llevamos en las preguntas, la entonación. Creo que en el nivel 1 ustedes ven las intonations of the questions, right? Entonación de las preguntas, ya sea con yes or no, o for WH questions. So, let me have Felix. Felix, escoja su pareja, please. Uh, voy a ver, voy a ver. Yes. Beatriz. 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 Hueso, ¿ok? La misma okay. dinámica. Okay. Usted pregunta la primera columna, ella contesta. La segunda, ella pregunta okay. y contesta. Ok. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at dawn? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does have how lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. Excellent. Thank you, Beatriz. Creo que la pregunta se le hizo rara porque se comió el subject pronoun. He. All right. Very good. Don't worry. Excellent. Both of you. And let me have Omar Chacon. Choose your pair, please. Let's go as a pareja. Ahorita, quiero ver. Que. Patricia Capo, no sé si a Patricia. No, no ha participado. Ok. Patricia. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, la misma dinámica. Okay. Action. Do you, do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do you they drive to work? Every day. Excellent. Thank you. Very good rhythm. No mistakes in the pronunciation. Yvette Aguirre, choose your pair, please. Ahorita, teacher. Julio Aguillón. Excellent. Same rhythm, same mimic, action. Action. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they try to work? Every day. Excellent, thank you. All right, my dear students, that was great. I'm feeling that you have no mistakes in your pronunciation. Sentí que no hubo ningún error en la pronunciación y ahora sí ya somos libres de ver las estructuras, all right? Let's check, we have two structures. Tenemos dos estructuras. For WH, Questions para preguntas que llevan WH, WH Word. Vamos a utilizar como primera instrucción WH Word. Plus the auxiliaries. Do or does. Plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Aquí le falta otro plus y me le agregan el question mark. All right? El signo de interrogación, question mark. A ambas estructuras le agregan eso, please, porque no está ahí. All right? Luego dice, for yes or no questions, you are going to start, usted va a iniciar with auxiliaries. Esa es la diferencia, right? Las WH questions las inicia con WH word y luego agrega el auxiliary, como notaron en los ejemplos. Pero las yes or no questions van a iniciar con los auxiliaries. Dice, do or does 
plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. De ahí dice, a este sí tiene ejemplos, all right? Do you get up early? Does he have lunch at noon? Okay. Listen up. Veamos la diferencia entre los tipos de pregunta. Usualmente la yes or no questions, lo que es más usual para las preguntas eh, con auxiliar, que dicen con los auxiliares, es que sea una pregunta directa, a direct question, all right? La, se espera que la respuesta solo sea sí o no, all right? No se redonde mucho, no se dé más explicación. Mientras que con las WH questions, también se les conoce como information questions, porque buscan que usted provea más information. No se quede como yes, no, all right? Sino que usted hable un poquito más con ese tipo de questions. Otra cosa, para esto necesitan manejar súper bien. Para hacer este tipo de preguntas, tienen que manejar súper bien las WH words. A ver, le pregunto a Andrea Solórzano. Dígame two WH words. Dos palabras de, con que inicien con WH de pregunta. What, where. Excellent. What and where. ¿Qué significa qué y a dónde? All right. Francisco Martínez, tell me another two. Dígame otras dos, please. Me poncho. ¿Ah? Me Ay, no, pues no, no se preocupe, ¿ok? It's just for you to remember, solo para que recuerden, porque esto lo vieron en el nivel 1, right? So, don't worry, no se preocupe, veamos si Sandra nos puede ayudar. Sandra, díganos otras dos, que no sean ni what ni where. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? How? Yo casi no le escucho. W-H-O. Ah, pues sí. How? Go and win. When. Ah, when. Yes, very good. When. Excellent. Uh -huh. How and when. That's correct. How para preguntar cómo se hizo algo o cómo pasó. Y when para preguntar cuándo se hizo algo o cuándo pasó. O cuándo se vio con alguien. All right? Moises, tell me another two. Ya, another two. Ya llevamos... What, where, how, and when. Dígame otras dos, Moises. Eh, why. Why, eh, ajá. How. Ya, ya dijeron how. Ah, ya dijeron how. Why. Eh, ya dijeron where, ya dijeron what, ya dijeron... ¿Cómo, cómo pregunto yo sobre una option? Si quiero preguntar cuál. ¿Cuál? Which. Uh, What? Yes, <laughs> very good, Mr. Chacon. That's correct. Which? Right. Which? Ah, which? Ah, se me I exactly. forget. Don't, don't, don't worry, right? No se preocupe. Esto para refrescarles la memoria. Y a veces yo no se los digo así de un solo porque ya me han salido grupos que sí se acuerdan y hay otros grupos que todavía tratan de acordarse, right? Y lo mismo estamos aquí, so don't worry. Para eso estamos, para recordarnos todos. Okay, now let's check the following. Teniendo esas palabras, usted ya tiene un buen avance, right? Porque va a saber identificar qué es lo que quiere preguntar. Recuerden, el uso del auxiliar va a depender del sujeto, right? There's no way to get lost in here. No hay manera en la que usted se pueda perder. El tipo de auxiliar que va a usted, va a usted utilizar va a depender del subject que va a utilizar. Es decir, ¿qué sujetos tengo que tener yo? Um, let me check, Ernesto, si quiero utilizar das. Das. Uh -huh. eh, you. Mm, ese sería para el do. Son tres específicos que puedo utilizar con el das. Are. No, ese es auxiliar. Ese es, perdón, verb to be. A ver, ¿alguien que me le ayude, Ernesto? He, she, it. He, she, it. Excellent, very okay. good. He, she, it. Esto lo vimos desde la clase del martes, right? So, there's no way to turn it back. No podemos olvidarnos. Ya, tengamos las anotaciones, estudiémoslas en algún momento, right? 
So there you are. He, she, it. Ahí es cuando depende si yo utilizo el das. ¿Ok? Puede estar sustituido, once again, no me voy a aburrir de decírtelos. Puede estar sustituido por un noun. En vez de decir he, yo puedo decir Ernesto. En vez de decir she, yo puedo decir Sandra. En vez de decir it, yo puedo decir the hurricane, el huracán. All right? It could be anything, it. So, there you go. Very good. Now, do you have this on your notebooks? ¿Ya copiaron estas estructuras en sus cuadernos? Yes. Great. Yes. 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 You should have. Ya tendríamos que tenerlas. Okay. Now, let's check. <ríe> sí, porque para eso me pongo a explicarles todo eso despacito, para que usted también tenga tiempo de copiarlo, right? A student reporter might start talks to people on the street about their schedules. Antes de ir yo con esto, voy a poner el video solo en esa parte, right? Que aparece la pronunciation de esto. Para que tengan algo extra. So here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading? What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Excellent. There you are. You're served. Estamos servidos, okay? Let's go with this. Brittany Davis, no, Brittany Davis, college student. We have Mike and Britton. What's your schedule like? Esa palabra, schedule. No, no pueden decir schedule, eh, chedule, no. A schedule, schedule. Se los voy a poner aquí por, if by any circumstances. La um, pronunciación, all right? Como podría escucharse. Schedule, all right? So it says, what's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m. A.m. No es a.m. Es a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do, when do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening. From 8 until midnight. Let me have, vamos a tener a Vanessa Scarlett, you are Brittany, usted va a ser Brittany, Oscar, usted va a ser Mike, action. What your, your like? My class start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your when you do your classroom class in they end at noon then I have a job at the library. library. 
library. So when do you study? My only time time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Now let's check the following. Vamos a la siguiente pareja con esta misma práctica. Let me have Jessica Hernandez, you are Brittany. Moises, you are my action. Okay. What's your chef schedule like? My class start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do you class in? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. Repeat, job. Job. Okay. Uh, continue? Yes. Okay. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening. It's from 8, from eight until, until midnight. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, Jessica and Moises. Moises, repeat after me. Classes. Classes. Mm -hmm. Me lo hizo singular y está en plural, right? Ah, okay. Hay que pues que es como sonaba como español, mejor lo, lo, lo pronuncié como lo hacen normalmente. Ah, all right, yes. Sí, ya que suena como normal, o sea, como español. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. don't worry, it happens. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, both of you. Vamos a la segunda conversation. Joshua Burns, website designer. Él es diseñador de páginas, right? What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. Wow, que atletico va a correr. <laughs> How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. So let me have Yolanda, you are Joshua, usted va a ser Joshua, Felix, usted va a ser Mike, action. Okay. What do you, what do you teach all like? Well, I heard at six, Six. <laughs> I get up. Hola. I get up at 6.30. At 6.30, I am. And I am. Before, around before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8 o'clock. Around a jam. At a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work um, night to finish a project. Excellent. Thank you. Very good, y'all. Let me have Jolanda repeat after me. I get up. I get up. At? At? 6.30. 6.30. Excellent, very good. Miren, esto, esto es lo bonito que ustedes puedan verme la cara a mí aquí, all right? Que yo puedo mover la boca y ustedes pueden fijarse en ese movimiento. Dios quiera, yo no voy a tener frijoles en los dientes, ok? Pero ustedes pueden verlo, and that's good. Eso es excelente, porque tienen que ver la pronunciación correcta. Yeah, I know, right? That's why I wash my teeth. Para eso me lavo los dientes. So there you go. Para hablar inglés, everyone, tenemos que... Bueno, ustedes notarán que yo soy bien expresiva con la boca, right? Trato de abrirla bien, porque así es como se habla y así es como mejor van a aprender, ¿ok? Don't be ashamed, no tengan pena, aquí están aprendiendo. That's why I'm here for. Para eso estoy yo aquí. So let me have, let me check. Francisco Martínez, you are going to ask. Pregunta, Andrea Solórzano, you answer. Siempre el mismo de Joshua, all right? Action. Have you get your life? Well, I got up at 
6.30 a.m. and go for a room before breakfast. Breakfast. Where do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around one, I take a lunch break. What night do you work? Sometimes I work at night to finish a project. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. All right, let's go to the third one. Vamos a la tercera. Maya Black, rock musician. We have Mike and Maya. <laughs> What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. Recuerden, aquí no me van a decir I am, porque cuando usted dice I am, está diciendo yo soy. All right? So aquí tiene que decir a m. Por eso está la, la a punto m, all right? A m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Okay, let me have Omar Chacon. Usted pregunta y usted sería Mike. And Beatriz Hueso, usted sería Maya. Action. What your schedule like? I go at night. I go to work at, at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at, at five in the morning. Excellent, okay. thank you, very good. Let me have Josué Granados. You are Mike, usted sería Mike. Jennifer Marisol Iraeta, usted sería Maya, action. Okay. What your schedule like? Hello, Marisol, are you there? Excuse me, se me fue un ratito el internet. <laughs> okay, don't worry, no se preocupe. Usted sería Maya. Ya hizo, eh, Mr. Granado ya hizo la pregunta. I work at at night, I go to work at 10 p.m. and uh, I play until uh, 3, 3 and uh -huh. What do you after work? I have done diner. Then uh, I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Marisol, repeat after me. I have dinner. I have dinner. Yes, excellent. Dinner is cena y diner is comedor, all right? Justo así se dice, teacher, dinner. Sí, I have okay, dinner, okay. yes. Porque diner is comedor, all right? Ah, okay, okay. There you go. Okay, now everyone, let's check this. I'm gonna explain you something. Let's wait click a like, right? Otro practice time. Ya les dije ayer, la primera clase, creo que fue el martes, right? Les dije que la primera instrucción la iba a leer yo, pero ahora ya les toca a ustedes leerlas. So let me have Patricia Campo. Me lee las instructions, please. One and two. Okay, one. Create, create three sentences using the following verb, has, goes, does. Two, share your sentence with the class. Excellent, thank you, all right? So what I want you to do, lo que quiero que todos hagan es esas tres sentences, all right? Utilizando has, goes, or does. Recuerden que tienen tres Third person singular, tres terceras personas singulares. Hagan uso de eso, all right? Porque de hecho solamente a ellos les aplica esto irregular verbs. 
So, let's work on it. Lo que no terminamos ahora, no se preocupen, mañana tenemos clase. Recuerden, mañana tenemos clase. Entonces, mañana lo terminaríamos, ¿ok? O, bueno, no es que lo terminaríamos mañana. Mañana me lo tendrían que traer. <laughs> Estas tres oraciones. So, let's get started. Inician ahorita, right? Básicamente utilizarían la misma estructura que les di el día martes. Subject plus verb plus complement. Y aquí tienen los tres verbos que van a utilizar. All right, listen up. Uh, before we leave, antes de que nos vayamos, quiero saber quiénes ya finalizaron la section one. Me. Yes, teacher. Sí. Yo voy a la mitad. All right. Yo, ¿Dónde okay. están las preguntas? Okay, good. Pero tienen que apresurarse, right? La sección uno ya tendría que estar completitita, okay? Porque ya vamos, mañana iniciamos y casi que terminamos mañana mismo la sección dos, right? All right, listen up. That's pretty much it for today's class. Eso ha sido básicamente la clase de este día. Ha sido un gusto estar con ustedes. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, gracias. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.